Hello everybody, this is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Sam and Max Season 2. Well, something I discovered uh, in between filming last episode and this episode, I thought that there was an achievement for getting the mariachi band to show up, and it turns out that there is, but the achievements were only in the Xbox 360 version of this game, not the PC Steam version that I'm playing, so... We got to see the fun little video, but we don't get any points for it. Apart from whatever points of approval I get from you, my viewers, for having gone out of my way to load such a silly little random event. Because that is why I do this. Anyway, with that done, let's go ahead and talk to Sybil and Lincoln. Hey, Sybil. Oh, hey there, Sam and Max. What was all that commotion outside? Just a little urban renewal project that got out of hand. By the way, didn't you tell us that you wished your office was closer to a good restaurant? That's right. Why? No reason. Are you and Abe on a date? Well, if you want to call it that. What if I wanted to call it the unspeakable obscenity from beyond space, cackling on the threshold of utter madness? I think I'd prefer date. Think there will be more dates in your future? Who knows? I'm no fortune teller, but... Oh, wait a minute. I was a fortune teller! Or wait, was I a sports therapist? Were the balls crystal or merely inflamed? Are you still the Queen of Canada? Hardly. I thought they'd be happy when I annexed the U.S., but all they did was complain. They were all faltering dollar this, and pernicious crime rate that, and unwieldy and inefficient healthcare system. Moan, moan, moan. I didn't think Canadians ever complained. They did it in that really polite, passive-aggressive way that just made it worse. What brings you here? I thought it would be fun to play this trivia quiz, but instead we're stuck watching Stinky make a mockery of the word knowledge. Sounds like fun to me. Yeah, Max and I always have a blast making a mockery of the word justice. You're not enjoying the trivia contest? No, I'm sure my answers are right. But Stinky says otherwise. I'm sure you're right, too, dear. If this is too aggravating... Oh, no. This is fine, Abe. I'm just enjoying being here with you. If I weren't trying to impress Abe, I'd claw that lying witch's eyes out! You should let Lincoln see the real you! Otherwise, your entire relationship is based on a lie! Why are you giving out relationship advice, Max? I just want to see a good cat fight! Yeah, I'm with him on this. Having fun yet? I know she's cheating, but I don't want to ruin my date. Do you know the answer to the trivia question? I'd rather not say. I'm kind of competitive. That's okay. We're not. Why? What do you think the answer is? We think it's D. Hmm. Good to know. See ya, Sybil. Incidentally, what is the question? Ah. Let's see, what comes between Tuesday and Thursday? Uh, I'd say Doomsday, but... 23 skadoo, Mr. Lincoln. What's shaking, Mr. X, President? Hmm? Oh, it's you two. Are you and Sybil dating? A gentleman doesn't kiss and tell. That's not what your MySpace page says. Hey, I never friended you. Where's your hat? I'm an enormous stone head. Why should I wear a hat? To cover your enormous stone bald spot? I don't have a bald spot, you little pipsqueak. Are you kidding? It's as big as a Volvo! If that thing's to scale, I'm amazed Booth wasn't blinded by the reflection. You seem nervous. Got an itch you can't scratch or something? I'm staying on the lookout for that Ken Burns guy. He will not leave me alone. What are you doing here? Sybil said it'd be fun to take part in Stinky's trivia contest. But like the rest of the 21st century, it's really just a confounding mishmash of unfamiliar buzzwords tossed about willy-nilly. Stinky made a game based on my presidential memoirs? The trivia contest can't be all that bad. Abe, you're not having a good time? No, no. Of course I am, Sybil. The best. <laughs> None of this makes any sense. 
It's all questions about aeroplanes and electric lights and cell phone transmission specification technology. And that stinky person actually claimed she wrote the Gettysburg Address. If I weren't trying to impress Sybil, I'd headbutt that aqua-haired harlot from here to Harrisburg. You're not doing well at trivia? Not at all. How can anyone think with all these bright lights shining everywhere? You know what you people need? Gas lamps. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? That's not necessary. Abe and I know what we're doing. That's right. We're doing fine. Help me out here, guys. We think it's A. Hmm, okay. See you, A.L. Represent. Alright, so I think I've thrown enough misinformation around that we can make this work now. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. I chose B. Ugh, I love how you keep playing even though you're always wrong. Never lose that. I chose A. <laughs> how lucky! Sadly, you're wrong. The answer is D. D! No, it is not. <laughs> not. We also chose B. And your choice was also wrong. Only one answer wasn't guessed, so it was obviously the correct one. C. C? That's just not true. Okay, next. Which of the following women's names is also the name of an herb? A. Napalmet. B. Mary Juanita. C. Rosemary. D. The Pyloric Sphincter. Hello, sir. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? What do you think the answer is? We think it's D. Excellent choice, men. Proceed. Sir, so long, sir. Keep them dangly, dogface. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? Yes. Hook a brother up. We think it's A. Got it. See you, A.L. Okay, hopefully this time... Okay, let's we'll hear everyone's answers. I chose C. Oh, if only C was an option. Wrong. I chose A. Oh, <laughs> how lucky! Sadly, you're wrong. The answer is D. D! Negative. We chose B. No, that's wrong. Oh, I guess it must be right. Well, congratulations! I'm really annoyed that you won, but I'm far too magnanimous to let it bother me. <laughs> Cheaters. It's the limited edition pestilence maquette with super detailed open sores. Aw, oh, see how he slumps in his saddle? Does he have any cool action features? Cut it out, Max. You don't know what that'll do. What's the worst a toy could do? Choke a toddler? Blind a toddler? Hmm. Eviscerate? Well, it looks like nothing happened anyway. Let's go. All right, so that gives us the fourth of the horsemen. The horsemen of pestilence. Where to, Sam? We're off to the North Pole. Can we start the exorcism now? Nope. We still need three more horsemen. Let's hurry! I've got a sudden, inexplicable craving for pea soup! I hope this demon appreciates all the work we're going through. I just hope he doesn't rip our lungs out and eat them in front of us. That's kind of what I meant. I can't wait till we finally exercise this bastard and put the video up on YouTube! You'll have to. We still need one more horseman.
That's the last one. Now we just have to sing the incantation. Do we have to? If we want to save Santa the season of giving and possibly the entire Earth as we know it, yes. It still hardly seems worth it. All right. Let's put on the friendly demon song. Like a light bulb. He was the most unholy creature that was ever In Lower Manitoba. Even the other demons scared to let him join their games. The games. Like Tic Tac Doom. Hey, shambling corporate presence. I don't think that's how the song goes. Hmm. How is the song supposed to go? To exorcise the demon, it says we'll need to collect the four horsemen of the apocalypse action figures, place the horsemen around a magnetic pole, then draw the demon out using the friendly demon song. Hi, we're collecting guns for tots. Care to make a donation? <laughs> and it's a Red Ritter BB gun. Whoop. I think I remember the order, but rather than putz around, let's go back, check the document. Oh, come on, seriously? sworn that the instructions were still over here. I guess they are. Just in my pocket, then. It... Oh, come on. Uh, I may need to run this in window mode from now on. So, we'll just have to try and bluff our way through this. We'll just go with the clues that we've got in front of us. Like gelatinous goo. Because we did have that goo before. In Lower Manitoba. Because we had the crate there. Like Minesweeper. As they were playing that. Hey, shambling corporate presence. It worked. The power of Christmas compels you. Any second now, Santa's going to walk out that door demon free and shower us with gifts like an absentee dad with a guilty conscience. Did it work? <laughs> Wait. But he... You mean... But I, I, I thought... But I thought... Huh? What? No! I quit! I'm gonna be a dentist! <laughs> Finish Navidad, baby! What? Nothing? Didn't you guys read the back of the instructions? There's a back? <laughs> Very important. Make sure you have the spirits of Christmas to contain the beast, or you're screwed. Sam and Max, it's up to you to save Christmas! Yep, we're screwed.
Well, now we can get access to everything else on this side of the room. Hey, Sam, what time is it? Let's see. Uh, the little hand is on the freckle, and the corncob pipe is on the right eyeball. Already? Where does the time go? I'm pretty sure it's either Dasher or Dancer. Whee! It's a record of what people got in their stockings. Jenny A. Nice kid, sock full of toys. Dan F. Means well, sock full of candy. Stephen G. Liar, sock full of coal. Wow, Santa must really hate liars. Yeah, a messy public divorce will do that to you, I guess. Look at this. It's Santa's magical stocking stuffer. It fills a sock with whatever gift the owner deserves. Ooh, let's try it. I think we'd need to have socks first. Oh, yeah. Maybe we shouldn't save Christmas after all. Sam, no! We can't let Thanksgiving get the upper hand! Well, we've got things to do. I think I left my needlepoint in the car. Who dares to disturb our... Oh, it's you. You know us? We know all those who have ever ruined Christmas, especially the repeat offenders. Who are you guys? Dig the spirit of Christmas past, brothers. I am the spirit of Christmas present! And that cat's the spirit of Christmas yet to come. He's shy! What's your 20, good buddies? We could use some help saving Christmas. We're not bad people. We've just had bad luck with major holidays. And automobiles. And federal statutes. It is your own selfish actions that have brought this to pass. Selfish? We're freelance police. We save the world. Sometimes on purpose. You got no clue the bad karma you've built up, man. You will need the combined help of all three of us to defeat the demon. We will show you three Christmases you've ruined. Set them right, and we will consent to help you. Where are you going? I have to get some air! That safe reeks of weed and dilithium crystals. The safe's empty now. See, portal pass, portal present. Portal to the future. I think we'll go to future first. So we've got to jump in this portal and save another Christmas, huh? I've seen characters in Japanese RPGs that say more than this guy. Oddly specific reference. I guess this leads to some dystopian future Christmas. You say that about everything. But this time I'm right. Wow, the future is hot. And so am I, Sam. Seriously, check future me out. Smoking! Well, Max, unless we learn how to fly, we're destined to spend the remainder of our days on a tiny outcropping surrounded by impossibly hot lava, ash, and soot. I don't mind, Sam, as long as I'm with my best friend. Oh, that's sweet, little pal. Hey, give me one of those pork rinds you were carrying. Sorry, buddy. I already ate them all. We're gonna die! Ha ha ha! Somebody help! Spirit, why would you show us this if we were powerless to change our snackless fate? Surely we can alter these shadows before us, perhaps with a larger, economy-sized bag of pork rinds, or chips! Or you know, Max, we could find a way to get our future selves out of this place. Yeah, I guess that'd work.
Foot Bath and Piranha Aquarium. Too bad the piranha are sold separately. Let's attach a gift tag. Because we actually do know somebody who could use a foot bath. What unlucky person should we mail this to? Stinky might like that. Where to, Sam? Let's head back to civilization, or what's left of it. Good thinking. We can always freeze to death out here later. Demon not doing anything to stop us, but why would it? That foot bath was heavenly. My feet haven't felt that good since that hot oil massage from Barack Obama. It smells like you've got a new item on the menu, too. Now, I can find the strength to keep serving these poor, sweet, spoiled imbeciles. This smelly old sock could come in handy. Stinky sock. Because now that we have a stock, or a sock. A <laughs> stock. Well, we may have stock, too. Where to, Sam? We're off to the North Pole. Let's see what Stinky's getting from Santa this year. It's full of coal. That's what you get for lying all the time! What do you think you get for reckless disregard for public safety? In my case, I got to be president. So, what are we going to do with a sock full of coal? Well, Whee! you might recall. No siree. We do have this. There we go. One Santa sleigh fueled and ready for takeoff. Great! Now we can finally bomb Auckland! I was thinking we could use it to save our future selves. Right! In a preemptive strike against the vengeful Kiwis! Get in the sleigh, Buckethead! By the ruby red goiters of Rube Goldberg! Look, Max, it's Santa's sleigh! What an unexpected stroke of luck! Or is it, Max? Remember that time long ago when we jacked Santa's sleigh in an effort to save Christmas and drove it recklessly into a hellish vision of the future very much like the one we're standing in now? I stopped paying attention halfway through that sentence. I wonder if our ghosts are here guiding us right now. Hey, past me! Check this out! Shake that thing! Classy as always, little pal. Now let's get out of here. I'm gonna miss that sexy beast and his fat tub of lard sidekick. Hey, you could stand to lose a few yourself, smart guy.
Well, we saved Christmas for our future selves. Is that all? I guess that means he'll help us take care of our demon problem. What's he gonna do? Give him the silent treatment? No! Stop! Please! Never underestimate the power of passive aggression, Max. Alright, well with that done, I think we'll go ahead and stop this chapter here. And next time, we will continue on to the present. Yeah, in the future, we will go to the present, but that's all in the past by the time you listen to this. But thank you for listening to this, and I'll see you all next time. Take care until then.